Hey, what's going on guys? This is gonna be a very fast control wallet setup. We're gonna be installing it, setting a password, and backing up our seed phrase, very important. I'm also gonna share with you what I think are some good recommended settings when you first set up the wallet. We're also gonna add the base network, so you'll learn how to add networks. We're gonna import another wallet into, the, into this wallet. So there's gonna be two wallets in the end, so you can see what that looks like. We're gonna do a swap in the wallet, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like to connect to a dApp. Step one, I'm going to install the browser extension. Wallet has been added to Brave. I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna pin the wallet to my bar here, and then I'm gonna open up the wallet. To create a new wallet, I'm just gonna hit the create a new wallet button, and I'm gonna create with a recovery phrase. If you want to, you can also choose to create a wallet with a Google account, an email, or your X account. So I'm clicking with a recovery phrase. I'm gonna call this a quick wallet and hit next. And that's it, we have our wallet now. Next up, we need to set a password and secure or back up our seed phrase. So I'm gonna open up the wallet. I'm gonna skip through some of these early prompts here. You've got protect wallet down here, so I'm gonna say create a password. Just gonna make something up. And I'm also gonna turn the auto lock extension on for inactivity. Create password. So we've got our password created. We have our quick wallet here. So what I wanna do now is back up the seed phrase, which you never wanna share with anybody. You don't wanna store it online if you can avoid it. So I'm gonna be showing you the seed phrase here and I'm gonna write it down, it's 12 words. But at the end of this, I'm gonna light that 12 words on fire, never to be seen again or, or used because you're gonna have those 12 words and if I put any funds in there, you, not that you would, but anyone watching this could then steal the funds out of the wallet. So on the quick wallet here, you've got these three dots. I'm gonna click on that, it says show recovery phrase as an option, so I'll click that. It gives you basically what I just said. Don't show it to anybody, secure it in a, in a good spot, don't store it on the internet. So I won't share my recovery phrase, show recovery. Gotta put in my password. These are the 12 words, so I'm gonna write these down real quick. Okay, so those 12 words are written down. It's gonna want me to verify that on the next screen here. So I've backed up. Yes, I am ready to confirm. I'm gonna hit yes. And now I need to fill these in. So for the first one, it was palm, so I'm gonna drag and drop that. And then I'm gonna do that with the other three. All right, so now we've got a password on our wallet and we've got our seed phrase backed up. Next up, I wanna share with you some settings that I think are good to toggle on when you first get this wallet. So go over into settings down here and we're gonna go into security and privacy. We already turned auto lock on. I also think it's a good idea to turn on prote protected transactions so that anytime you need to approve a transaction, you have to put in the password just in case for some reason you walk away from your wallet and you leave this up and someone tries to mess with your stuff. If they don't know the password, they're not gonna be able to do anything. ThorChain is also about to add the base network, which is not a native chain to this wallet. Arbitrum is an L2, Avalanche, BNB, you'll see that base is not here. And they've also got some other native chains that aren't toggled on to enable, and base is not one of them. So if you wanna add a network that is not shown here, hit the plus sign. We're gonna add an EVM because base is an ETH layer two. Click on that, search the network, I'm gonna type in base, and then we've got it right here. So I'm gonna click on that, and now we have base added to our networks in our wallet. So if I was to send, any base tokens to this wallet, now they're gonna be recognized in the wallet. Let's say that you have another wallet that you wanted to add into this browser extension. You created this one, but let's say that you have five different wallets with five different seed phrases. Is it possible to have them all just in this one browser extension? The answer to that is yes, thankfully. So we're gonna go over to settings. We're gonna go to wallet management. And down here at the bottom, you can add an account, add a wallet, or a hardware wallet. So we're gonna add another wallet. You can have one wallet and just add multiple accounts. So one seed phrase, multiple accounts. Or you can have one extension and you can also have multiple wallets with multiple accounts within those wallets. So it can get kind of crazy there. But we're just gonna import a uh, another wallet with a new seed phrase. So I'm gonna click this button. I'm gonna say import a wallet because I already have the seed phrase that I want to import here. You could do this with socials, a private key, or the recovery phrase, but I'm gonna do it with the recovery phrase. So it needs the 12 word recovery phrase, which I'm gonna put in right now. The 12 words are in, I'm gonna hit next. And what it's doing is searching for all the different accounts that might be associated with this wallet. I just created this wallet like not too long ago, so there should only be one account. I'm just gonna click click the first account because I know there's nothing in 
I know there's no funds associated with this private key. So I'm gonna hit next. I'm gonna rename it quick wallet two. hit next. So now we've got two wallets in here. We've got the quick wallet and we've got quick wallet two. So now if you go back to the homepage, you can see I've got both of those wallets, which might have different assets in them that I can all just manage from this one wallet. If you got a DeFi wallet, chances are you plan to trade or do some activities in DeFi. Some of it you can just do right from this wallet. If I were to click on this you know, swap logo down here, if I were to select this quick wallet one, it's got the one account on it. I'm gonna click on that. And if I wanted to do a swap, let's say I wanted to swap some ETH for something else. Let's go uh, Solana and just the native Solana token. Let's say I wanted to swap for that. Let's say I had 0.5 ETH in my wallet and right now I don't have anything in this wallet. Obviously these are brand new wallets. Then I could do this swap in the wallet and it would happen just like that. Let's say I wanted to connect my wallet though to a website. In this example, I'm going to use ThorSwap. So if we went over to ThorSwap and we wanna connect control wallet, we click on the connect button, go to browser wallets, select control, and it's gonna use all of the chains that are, so, that are integrated in the control wallet. I'm gonna to agree to the terms and hit connect. I get a prompt here for a connect request asking which account. I'm just gonna use the first account on the first, the first wallet and hit connect. And now we are connected. If we go into the wallet, you can actually see that we're connected up here because it's got that ThorSwap logo up here. That's it for this one. I was trying to make it quick. How quick will it be? I'm not so sure, but I hope you got some value out of this one. I'll see you on the next one.